Hello, hello. Happy Sunday. The bowl of superness is going on. I have no dog in that fight. I tried watching for the first quarter and a half or so. And all I was thinking about was playing Minecraft. So let's uh let's play some Minecraft. I'm thinking about starting a brand new Skyball world. We're gonna call it Sky 13. Oh, difficulty will be hard. It's a survival world. We need to switch the world type to Sky Vault. Um, otherwise, everything else is default. We will uh, delete this world if the biome, starting biome, is cruddy. I do not want to start in a snow biome, preferably one where I can get animals. So we'll see. How is everybody doing? I figure most people are probably watching the Super Bowl at this point in time. The Unfortunately, the Lions were not able to go. Otherwise, we would absolutely be watching the entire game. All right, we are starting in a jungle bio. Am I okay with a jungle? Hmm. The mob should spawn in a jungle biome. I don't think there's anything that doesn't spawn. So yeah, we'll go with the jungle biome. So with Sky Vault, if you've never actually uh, played the Sky Vault before, the budding crystal here is what... Um, for that. Uh, the budding crystal is what uh, <clears throat> gives you raw vault crystals. And then the raw vault crystals are where basically you get the majority of our uh, resources. So uh, I'm just going to throw that stuff on the ground. And a boom into a hey, Canadian Mountie. Hi, it's going great. I am starting a brand new Vault Hunter Sky Vault world. So if you, you, you've you said, hey, I've seen you play Vault Hunters at the very beginning, so this is as basic as it gets. Yep, just created it not two seconds ago. So I am level zero. I have nothing. Uh, we are, in this world, the idea behind Sky Vaults is uh, you get all of your resources out of the vault. So all of the... Hey, zero. All of the resources that you're going to get out of out of the vault uh, for your sky world, you have to get from the vault. So dirt, cobblestone, grass, lee or grass, uh, farmables, everything. So our goal in the first vault is to uh, get some some items to build with. So we're going to uh, work through. Um, uh, we're going to work through the quest system. So the first quest was just to acknowledge that there's a quest system. And then our second quest is, hey, you've got skills and talents. Here's everything you need to know about that. And we're going to give you a free t a free talent point, which I am immediately going to put into Vein Miner. Because that's going to speed us up greatly here in the, in the vault. So, uh, okay. So the first thing we're going to do is get some wood. And now you know why we got Bane Miner. Yeah, the vaults are, all the vaults are timed. Uh, you, your default time is 25 minutes. You can get more or less depending on uh, the modifiers that you have. Uh, but for the most part, 25 minutes is pretty uh, pretty much bog standard for vaults. So the good news is with the raw vaults, which is what we're doing for the Sky Vault world, the, you, the crystals auto-generate. So there's a budding crystal that grows the, the crystals, you know, as you go along. And they are... 
Yeah, so no, with Vein, I have to get the Vein Miner talent. So with with Vault Hunters, you have abilities. So these are going to be more targeted, like I want to do this type stuff. So like Vein Miner, I have to activate. So this allows me to. Uh, no, it didn't come with Vein Miner. I unlocked it. So the quest system for Vault Hunters. Um, uh, I, I should have done this outside, but I didn't. So basically, they have a quest, the whole quest system. So it says, here, welcome to Vault Hunters. There's a bunch of info about it. Uh, it tells you how you can have a different modes and, and how to do that. And then the second quest was, hey, we have skills and talents you can get. And what we're going to do is we're going to give you your first one for free. And by the way, we recommend that you get heal. Well, for me, that doesn't work in, in the Sky in the sky world because for I want to get as much out of the Sky Vault as possible. So, uh, since, since I've kind of got, wow, our first room is a chromatic iron room. You're got to be kidding me. Okay. Sorry. That's me being upset, but that's okay. All right. really quick we need to make a pickaxe um i didn't do the quest so i because i started the quest line the first one is create a raw vault crystal so i already came in here so i can't complete this and then i can't do this this quest right here is to get chromatic iron and vault stone i i can't no no no, no. anyways <laughs> So that this is going to be the shortest live wooden pickaxe ever. So now we have a stone pickaxe. Goodbye, wooden pickaxe. Thank you for your service. That am I really that upset? No, because I'm going to see another one. It's just uh, the chromatic iron rooms are not. They're not uncommon, but they're not super common, if that makes sense. To make a shovel. Okay, cut andesite is garbage to me. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. So chromatic iron is added by, so there's two blocks that are added by the mod. So if, whether you're playing in the sky world or not, you have vault stone, which is this black stone, which is really pretty by the way. Uh, but this is used for uh, creating your vault portal and for a couple other things. And then you have chromatic iron. Chromatic iron is uh, essentially the ore that makes vault hunters work. And so what I mean by that is, uh, uh, all of your mods and everything you have to unlock, take different, uh, things such as chromatic iron, but chromatic iron is used to make vault crystals. Uh, vault crystals are what you need. Yeah, it is. It's a very pretty, pretty block. Uh, Kamara is who actually made, uh, I mean, it's a useless fact, but I've actually talked to Kamara. So when I first started Vault Hunters, I was on the Iskal 85 official servers for Vault Hunters. And one night we were just chilling out and Kamara drops by into the voice channel and says hi. So I got to spend about 45 minutes talking to Kamara about Vault Hunters and creating the art for it. And it was kind of cool. That's one of those things you're like, oh, I won't forget this. <laughs> but I know you're used to seeing me kind of fly around and be fast. This is going to be about as slow as you're ever going to see me play um, the game, by the way.
Oh, I did not make a sword. Uh, we can get a crafting bench. So in oh I got a champion. Are you kidding? Alright. So a champion is a much harder mob. So you saw the if you're watching, you saw the uh chalice over its head. So champions drop uh, items. So you get a vault currency, which is vault bronze. And you, this comes in bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. Uh, and then you also get gear. So I just got an unidentified vault chest plate. So at, at the rare level. So gear comes at scrappy, common, rare, epic, and then omega. So uh, basically I got a piece of gear now that's giving me four armor, two ability power. Ability power is uh, magic, the magic, think of it as the magic ability. Uh, it comes with two health and extra armor, item quantity and item rarity. So this is a huge upgrade for early game. Eagle, thank you very much for the prime but I'm unsure why it didn't play the music. There should have been a notice. Why, why you no play notice? Hang on. Let me check my settings. Spotify, cycle. Uh, okay, now it's on. I don't know why did it. Hold on, let me replay it. Oh, it played. It was just super quiet. What? Huh. Oh. Weird. Try that one more time. Yeah, I can't hear it. That's weird, weird, weird. Well, anyways, regardless, thank you very much for the Prime subscription, sir. I appreciate it. All right. Uh, I appreciate people stopping by during the Super Bowl. I figured there was going to be essentially no one around. <laughs> if I'm honest. The, uh, I watched the first quarter and, uh, about a half and I went, you know, I'm just not, I, I'm not a football guy. It's actually kind of funny. You know, a lot of, uh, women say they lose their husbands. Oh, it's no problem. A lot of women say they lose their husbands to football. I uh, am one of those few people that can say I lose my wife to football. She is a huge, huge, huge football fan. And it doesn't matter if it's collegiate football or uh, uh, NFL football. She hasn't gotten into like the XFL or any of that stuff yet, but the uh, that may happen this year because she's already lamenting that this is going to be the last football game until the spring games. So. So I am a football widow. <laughs> huh. 
I'm not into football. Yeah, I can understand Eagle. It's, I, there's not everybody is, but you know, something about the Super Bowl. Like I watched to try to the first few commercials and stuff, and I was just like, it just isn't there. Although, I, to be honest with you, I don't. Ever since I, I don't many many years, I don't think the commercials have been that interesting. All right, we've gotten enough stuff out of here, so let's do. We need to get some dirt. So we'll we'll go ahead and mine dirt. And I forgot to mark which way was the beginning of this room. So Canadian, so right now, because this is essentially a sky vault, uh, and I'm sure you're familiar with, with sky, uh, excuse me, since this is a sky block, or they call it a sky vault, um, our goal is to get uh, as many, you know, as many resources as we reasonably can. Uh, I need to figure out that is not the way. Let me figure out which way was the the way we came in here. Uh, that's a note. All right, this is the way we came in. Obviously, there's our uh, table. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this room. So this is a west-facing vault. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just go west. Normally, I don't go west, but hold on, I do have food. Let me actually... So we do not heal when we're in the vault. So we have to be very careful. Um, this is, since this is a Sky Vault world, there are different kinds of chests. Um, we have different kinds of mobs, so obviously if skeletons, zombies, uh, and the like are in the, in the vault. Uh, but there are two types of chests, well, three types of chests in Sky Vault worlds. There's what they call hardened chests, which are these gray chests. You have flesh chests, uh, which are these uh, these chests here. Flesh chests have uh, meat and things like that, string, other things like that. And if you look, I don't know if you can see that there's an eyeball in the in the chest when you open it. It's actually kind of kind of funny. Um, hardened chests have uh, uh, resources like uh, scaffolding and saplings. Uh, and then you have a uh, vault uh, stuff, like living rock. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to look around, fight off some, some people, uh, hopefully loot a little bit. As you can see, we're already getting full, so now we got to start making the decision on what do we want. Well, I want the blaze rod. I don't need the andesite. I don't need that. I don't need the vault consumables. We'll get all of that later. Like coal is useful to me. I'll grab the diamond nugget just in case. Torches are good. I don't need scaffolding. I really don't need zombie flesh right now. I really don't need. We have we don't need the chromatic iron nuggets because we have all of this raw chromatic iron. Horse dirt is good. Sticks we don't really need. Emeralds are good. Okay, we don't need the spider eye right now. Bone meal is good. Our bone is good for bone meal. I want to try to get... Um, ideally, we're going to hopefully can find a... Um, a farm room. So that we can get some sort of food. Uh, torches... Take that, take the other blaze rod. Uh, saplings, torches, torch. Don't need the, take the nugget. Okay. 
Oh, perfect. We got an ore POI. So there are different types of points of interest or POIs, points of interest. Um, this one is an ore points of point of interest. So uh, as you would expect, it is full of ores. So we will have a chance to find iron. There's some. One. If we can get three pieces of iron, we can mine those diamonds. Uh, still got to figure out why Eagle's subscription didn't play back to me. I'll have to look into that in a little bit. Luckily, I happen to be looking at the... There's two pieces of iron. I happen to be looking at the screen when you subscribe, Eagle. Otherwise, I don't know that I would have seen it right away. Oh, gold can't be mined by stone. Oh, there's a third piece of iron. Fantastic. All right. Over here. Make a crafting bench. Make a furnace. In the middle of the vault, we're going to melt iron. I hate being at max inventory. Yeah, uh, you get a shulker box fairly early, and there's a chance of a shulker box in the... Um, our shulker shells. I think there's a chance. Hold on. Shulker. Uh, there's a chance of shulker shells in the flesh chests. So we just haven't been. We've only hit seen two of them, and we haven't been lucky enough to get those yet. But we can immediately replace this stone pickaxe with this uh, uh, iron one. So we're able to come in here. We'll get our first actual diamond. Don't know that we need redstone, so we may we may let get rid of the redstone, but emeralds are definitely useful. Don't need copper right now. Gold is probably useful. All right, what do we get rid of to get the gold? That stair. All right. I forgot to mark. Uh, which way we came in here. Uh, I believe this way we were heading west. Yes, we were heading west. So. Uh, we've got another POI over here. Got... Early game, making decisions on what we actually want. Um, we're gonna get. We're gonna go at least one more room. If that does, if that doesn't work, we're gonna start punching grass and hope we get a a, a wheat seed. Because we will need food. All right. See if we can find a farming room. That's the most important thing right now. And the answer is no. No farming room. Oh, there's a wheat seed. Uh, we're going to go. Flesh chest. The nice thing about a full inventory is you can now just select everything and go put it in my inventory. If I have it, then it'll go in. So there's a flesh chest. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Nope. Go on that one. All right, so this one has a, what's called a mystery egg. 
That is actually valuable to us, so we're going to go throw away cobblestone. The slime is more valuable than the XP. All right, we have five minutes up. Oh, there's another couple flesh chests, so what I'm hoping for is a shulk is two shulker shells. They're not super common, but they're not also super uncommon. If that makes sense. All right. Another flesh chest. All right, let's head back. Time to get out of here. So this is moving at normal Minecraft speed. It's, as you would expect, slow. Uh, when you saw me playing before, I was running at speed four. <laughs> so. But we have enough to get started. We're, uh, if we have time, we're going to punch a couple more trees, uh, try to get some more oak trees. But I want to get back to the starting room, and then we're going to probably poke our head into... Um, uh, the side rooms in case there's an actual farming room. Because that would be amazing, but... All right, this is the starting room. Uh, this is not a farming room. All right. And then on the off chance, we see an Enigma chest. So if you happen to see... Oh, hi, guys. If you happen to see a black chest, it, 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 instead of this like gray that's an enigma chest there's a 1 in 100 chance that there that we get a enigma chest uh, you know what I could probably get rid of these soul shards eh whatever alright let's go poke our head in the other direction uh, enigma chests have uh, villagers in them. Enigma chests can have other tools like uh, gear, uh, diamond pickaxes, diamond axes. So it's kind of like, okay, if you happen to see one, you're lucky to find one or two Enigma chests. I think the most I've ever seen, uh, this is not a farming room as well, the most I've ever seen in uh, the vault is three, and that's when I was much higher level and I was able to hit a whole lot more rooms. All right. Uh, there's so much stuff that by the time it becomes an issue. It's just, there's just so much. Like, all of this stuff, right? All of this ore is like, oh, I wish I could get it, but... Um, there, there will be time aplenty to get more. And we since we essentially are going to walk out of here... Oops. Um, we're going to walk out of here. Our next goal is to get three more pieces of iron so that we can get a bucket. So we can take water with us and then uh, lava out into the um, Okay, we're full on dirt. Actually, we will get rid of these soul shards. Dirt is more valuable. When I play Minecraft, I always uh, punch with redstone. Okay, we are as full as we can get. And then I got a little bit of XP, almost reached level one if I had fought some more mobs, but 
the stuff that I had thrown on the ground here is still here. Uh, we are going to make a crafting bench. Put it right there. Pebble. Pebbles. Uh, we're going to immediately make some chests. And then we're just going to dump everything into this chest. Up. All right. Away. So this is where we start. So this is the sky block start. So instead of like on Friday, I don't know if you saw on Friday, I did a one block. This actually got me thinking about playing sky vaults was what I did on Friday. Uh, but now that we have a little bit of uh, dirt and stuff, what we're going to, what I'm going to do, grab the torches. I want to grab my cobble. Put that away, grab the dirt. Go this way. So there are quality of life mods in this pack. So one of the things is called uh, Quark. And it lets you place blocks walking forward, which is something that you can do in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So you don't have to do the whole, I'm gonna hang my butt out over the edge of the world. Dirt. That. Stone. Sadly, we don't have any water ones. And I don't think we got enough string. To... No, we're two pieces of string short to be able to make a bed. That's unfortunate. But, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, okay, let's go build a platform for trees over here. Oh yeah, that is indeed a void. Oh, I guess I don't need to put that on anymore. Uh, you will not lose your stuff though. So this mod comes with a uh, a mod called uh, Corpse, I think. I, I don't remember anyways, but essentially uh, my body would be at negative 63 with all of my stuff in it. It will rot over like a lot of time, like a, like a long, long time. But, uh, did I get spruce? I did not. I've got two jungle trees. Okay, we're gonna go with oak. And in fact, what we're going to do here in a second, probably. Ooh, sheep spawn egg. That's convenient. 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a, what's called the Skyblock Reset. I don't know if you're familiar with this particular thing, but I want to run another vault. Take off my chest plate. So, take all your stuff off and then commit uh, Harry Carry here. And I'm back to full health. Chest plate on. Using vault steak for food. Yeah, that's for the health and the and the saturation. Uh, I have two wheat seeds, but we don't have a water source. So our goal is going to be to um Okay, so uh, when I picked up this crystal right here, I completed a quest. So if I go back to the quests or use the quest book, either way, uh, in this pack, H is the default key to get to the vault stats. So I'm able to complete this quest. It's going to give me some vault bronze. Yay. So now it says, hey, you need to go into a raw vault. And then it's going to say, you need to collect chromatic iron. Um, so I'm going to grab 16 chromatic iron so that I can auto complete. I happen to know that you need 16, so I can auto-complete the next quest as soon as I'm in the, the vault. Uh, I'm gonna light this up just so I don't have to deal with it later. What am I forgetting? I need block, oh no, I'll get blocks inside. Arc, we will want to get more cobble. We want to get iron, so we really want to find a, a mining room. Oh, we want to move this too. So I'm going to move this budding crystal right now. Two of the sides of the budding crystal are blocked. So we're going to really quickly uh, raise it up. Okay, I don't know how I did that. Hmm. Bye, Chess. All right, uh, got that, got that, got the crystal. Don't need anything here. All right, we should be able to get what we need out of the vault. So in we go. All right. Complete the quest. It's gonna give us some more. So our next quest is you need to collect chromatic iron. So we already did that. I happen to know because I played this game long enough to know that I needed 16. So I went ahead and were able to do that. So our next quest is gonna be find vault stone, which is what we're gonna do. So, but this isn't one where I can uh do it in advance because it requires um it requires the physical mining of the actual vault stone. All right, let's, so this is a east-facing vault. Our hope is to find a mine room or uh, or POIs because we need iron. There's a flesh chest down there. We'll probably go get that. We still. I hear you. Where did you guys spawn? Okay. 
Oh, there's a, there's a hidden dungeon back there. Hostile creatures. I don't know why everything is so quiet. Hi. Mystery egg. Slime again. Fine. We can keep the leather. Oh. Right. I need to check something real quick. I don't understand why everything is so quiet. But Spotify's not quiet. No, my volume is at its normal level. Oh. Weird. Don't know what's going on, but that's okay. Let's go see what we have back here. Oh, I would be so excited if this was a normal vault. <laughs> so this is a, uh, normally in the vaults, this room here has what they're called ornate chests. They're a different type of chest and they would have gear uh, in them. But I'm not complaining that we got this, but there's dark oak. We don't have dark oak. Because we're still tight on space, I'm being somewhat selective. Oh, there's a chest scroll. That's cool. Another dark oak. Oh, there's our first spruce. Nine diamond nuggets make a diamond, by the way. There's a flesh chest up there, but we need to be super careful because we can get overrun with mobs very easily here. These are the ones we heard spawn earlier. Nugget. There's only one chest, really? There's the other one. I should probably be grabbing that bread, but that's okay. Jungle wood, jungle sapling we need. Did I see another one over here? So these dudes here are vault dwellers, so they are the people who live in the vault. Uh, and we're essentially, it's the easiest way to think about it is we're disturbing their home. All right, that's useful. String is useful. We need that for a bed. All that other stuff matters. We'll just keep going here. So this is a east facing vault, so we're going to continue heading east. Mm. 
really love a farming room or an ore room. This is neither of those. He's heading east. I should have marked this room and I didn't. Not an ore room. Well, we've got an extremely unlucky with research now. All right. Uh, I think this is a square vault. All right, I'm going to go back to the first room, and then I'm going to go another direction. I'm being trying to be super careful about... Um, which way I'm running, because it's very easy to get lost. Although there would be no consequence to dying in this vault, other than not getting a little bit of X vault XP. Uh, you get to keep all your stuff, uh, because we have what's called Beginner's Grace. Uh, for, so for the first 20 levels, you get to keep all your stuff if you die. So they're, they're try to make it a little bit easier on... those that are learning it but uh the other thing you have is what's called uh, beginner's insurance which means that no no chests are trapped this is the first one okay uh we'll go left uh trap chests uh, come in two flavors uh either they spawn the vault dwellers so you end up with more vault dwellers than uh ooh, an ore room all right I know this as an ore room because I played the game long enough, but it'll be clear as soon as we uh, go up here. But uh, this is what we were looking for. Uh, and you'll see here, there's just lots and lots of overworld ore. So now we just have to fight the, uh, the monsters that are protecting it. Honest to God, my computer system is so quiet. understand what is going on Let's just turn it up i never play with the volume this loud huh. all right and i forgot i'm playing on single player so when i tab out it actually um tabs the uh the game so what we're looking for here is our priority is going to be iron followed by probably emeralds and diamonds. This is a loaded POI. This is nice. More diamonds, more iron, more emeralds. Gold has its uses as well, but it's not nearly as important. Emeralds are important because they're used for enchanting gear. Iron, I think, is self explanatory. Diamonds are also fairly self explanatory, although we will. We'll move on from needing diamonds fairly quickly, but right now diamond tools are a huge, uh, a hugely important. Uh, 
iron, coal, emerald. Iron. Don't care about you. This iron pick is done for. Oh, I didn't bring wood with me. Oh, there's some. Let's make a pickaxe and a sword. Uh, clicking the crafting bench would be very helpful. Obviously this sword is gone. Diamond sword. We're gonna make a diamond pickaxe. And we're gonna make a diamond axe. And we'll make it go ahead and make a furnace. Get this iron smelting. Oh, ancient debris. Ancient debris. Yeah, I think this was this POI was a lot smaller than the first one we were in. Okay. That'll keep cooking. We'll come over here and we'll deal with these guys. All right, what you got for me? There's iron, diamonds, gold. smelting yet. Oh, close enough. Alright, what can we get rid of? Chicken can go. Copper can go. Keep the ancient debris. Keep the diamonds. Keep that regular cobblestone. Keep the iron. We're gonna get two buckets. So our, we're gonna take a hopefully find some lava, and then we're going to uh, take some water out with us. What else can I get rid of? Nothing at the moment. 
Right. I forgot which way I came in, so it's a good thing I marked it. Got more diamonds. Nine minutes There is more ore that can be gained here. Grab these diamonds. Quick, but uh, our next goal right now is going to be water and lava. Uh, however, iron is also a beautiful thing. Diamonds are wonderful. Emeralds are good. Okay. This is where we're going to. Look the other way. All right, which way do we come in? Okay, so we are heading to the north. Lava, our water shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, do, 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 my sticks. Lava's going to be a little bit harder because we have to try to find a point of interest that has lava in it. And if we see any flesh chests, we're going to check them uh, on the off chance that there are shulker shells. Not in this one. Spring, though. Flesh chest up to the left. Potatoes now. Right. Two flesh chests. Ghast cheer. Okay, that's better than cobblestone. Lava, please. All right, we're gonna start heading back. Oh, 
There's a flesh chest. Did I do this one? Nope. Negative. Our string is good though, because that'll get us a bed. Well, halfway up here, we might as well look for lava. room should be the start room so we'll poke our head the other direction just to see if we can see a lava plus maybe check the start room i don't think i did a full uh sweep of the start room or lava okay, this is the start room oh a farming room um the moss blocks as you're entering it so this is one of the rooms i was looking for in the last room so this one here has four quadrants and there's a chance of different things spawning so there's beetroot over there uh cactus which actually is going to be more important than the slime grab the cactus which means we need to grab some sand would be more important than that furnace. So, vein mine. Vein mine some sand. These rooms are also mini little ore rooms in and of themselves. So in the underneath of these rooms, you've got ores as well, but more importantly, you get things like vault stone, which we need to mine. Um, and then there's sand. So in this case, red sand. All right, we've completed our quest. Oh, uh, what are we throwing out? Let's fall rocks. Okay. Is there lava in here by chance? Oh, I forgot to make a note of which direction we came in. This was an east-facing vault. Get out of here. We did not succeed in getting lava, but we did get uh, what will be two buckets of water. We'll pick up a second one, so we'll have an infinite water source. Assuming there's water in this hallway. There it is. So I got 1600 XP, it's going to level me uh, to level 1 in the vault. So it gives me a skill point. Uh, okay. Infinite water source acquired. Closet everything in here. Any 
need that for the lava. And we had a tree grow. Lava in the next vault. So our quest completion over here is going to say, hey, you mined vault stone. So we did that. So we're going to get chipped vault rock. The next quest is going to be to craft a vault rock. And the way it tells you how to do that, but basically you take the chipped vault rock, um, four of it, along with one chromatic iron ingot. And that creates a vault rock. So we'll have completed that quest. And then the next one it wants us to do is make a vault altar. Go ahead and put those away. And a vault altar is two pieces of obsidian, which we don't have, stone bricks, which we can get, chromatic iron ingots and a diamond which we can get so that's not a huge concern so we really need to find obsidian in the vault or take lava out with us because uh, once we are oh and we need dripstone but if we once we get dripstone and um some lava uh, we'll be able to uh have infinite lava but at the moment, let's go ahead and plant that wheat that we got. Two pieces of wheat. The hoe. And then beetroot seeds. Not that I want to eat beetroot. Our water. Don't really need to take the axe with us. That was just for melt the iron. Eight. Have a crystal. We need obsidian. That's really what we need more than anything else. Uh, jungle, another jungle sapling so we can make a four by four would be nice. Three more spruce saplings, two more dark oak saplings. Oh, we can plant our potatoes. What eggs? A bee and another sheep. Oh, we can make a bed. Let's do that.
do I want to take in two buckets just in case we get extra lava? Okay. All right, another raw vault. This one is west facing. Oh, I, I did. I'll go up and say I didn't bring any blocks in with me, but I did. POIs with lava. be amazing ah remember i told you about enigma chests that's an enigma chest very pretty chest so that is our one in uh, 100 chance of spawning in this case i want to grab a couple books because we're going to have a quest that's going to require it rather than uh farm Try to farm cows. Grab those. And what do, how'd we fare in the Enigma chest? We got an Elytra. And a Pickering. The rarest. Oh my god, we got a Pickering. Oh, villager. Oh, and a pouch. Oh my god, this is the best Enigma chest ever. Wow. Okay. Well, we just don't, that's a, pouch is like a shulker. So you have uh, items here and then it can be upgraded. But the elytra is wonderful. Okay. Go ahead and put all that stuff. Oh, and another star. Wow. That's the single best enigma chest I've ever gotten in all the Sky Vault worlds I've ever played in. Normally this would be a living POI, but it is not. Obviously. There should be a POI right here. One shulker shell. Hey, this is turning out to be a great build. We should start taking bread if we see it. So a pickering is a uh, a mobile pick. It's the easiest way to think about it. It's like a boomerang, and so it comes back. Uh, I'm going to want to enchant it. That's why I put it away right now, but... Lava in this. We'll have to find dripstone if we do find lava. Okay. Uh, this time we're gonna go uh, north. This is normally how I go out of a vault, so I'll come into the room and then I will hang a right 
So whatever whatever direction right is, in this case it's north. This is an orb. Um however we don't need ores right now. So we're gonna skip that. Well we're like what our focus right now is on getting lava. flesh chest. That's a 1 in 10, by the way. Uh, you're going to give me a shellfish shell. Mystery egg. String. No. Butter. We'll definitely take the mystery eggs because mystery eggs are super powerful. Later in the game, this is a spot where a dungeon can spawn. Got to be level 20 for that. I'm hoping I can run a regular vault, but we've been streaming for an hour and 20 minutes so far. Did I pick up the mark? I did, didn't I? It was a west facing vault, so we're heading north. Lava. Flesh chest back there. There's one over there as well. Eventually, ooh, that's thunder. All right, uh, there's a hidden spot over here. Uh, you can see it on the mini map up there in the upper left. Shulker shell. Come on, give me a shulker shell. Although I get it, we're getting a lot of mystery eggs, so that's uh fantastic. Oh, I thought that was lava. No, it was a bay or hail bay or bay. Wow. Hey, bail. Uh, 
Waffles, potatoes. There's definitely thunder out there right now. Ooh, a bottle of honey. So these soul shards that we're collecting, the uh, purple, these things, uh, later in the game, not that later in the game, but soon we'll be able to unlock what's called the black market. Oh, I already did up there. Uh, and then the black market, you trade soul shards for items of various types. Ah, the second type of resource room. So this one hopefully will have lava in it. So this is called a quarry. Uh, I'm sure you can see why. Uh, we got, so we can spawn different little mini biomes. So one of them that it spawned is a um, amethyst geode. Um, it's also a great way to get string. Uh, no, it spawned a lush cave, so no lava. However, pick up the big grip leaf, pick up. So if I don't loot this, it's going to be the inevitable when I need this stuff, I'm not going to be able to find this room. It's just how it it's just how it works all the time. Valia trees. Moss carpet can go. So at its heart, this pack is about um, grinding out. So things like the drip leaf can show up on, on crystal recipes or the spore blossom can show up on crystal recipes. Um, amethyst. I was debating. Oh, look, it's a champion. <laughs> Oh, another chest plate. Go figure. All the things you could drop. Give me what I already have.
compressed blocks can we want that. Alright. Oh, I can buy granite. Compressed blocks can show up in, in these spots as well. Oh, there's ancient debris we missed. Uh oh, we did get a compressed cobblestone. Uh okay, diamond nuggets can go. Ten minutes left. We're out of oh, we're not out of space. I have all the space in the backpack. Look at that. Suddenly we have space again. Alright. Or not backpack. Out. Come on, lava or obsidian. We'll take obsidian. We need obsidian for the quest. We'll check upstairs first. Does not look like we have any POIs with lava here. Maybe this one. Nope. It's, uh, not the chest I thought it was. Take the bread. Dark oak. Dark oak. Dark oak. That should be enough to make a single dark oak tree. Oh, wait, this might have lava. No. No lava. Jungle, jungle. So we've reached the dead end here. Because of the way that I know, we're gonna make a right turn here and make another right. So then we'll start heading east and that will put us into the side of the portal. Unless I've made a mistake, which is entirely possible. But I don't think so. Lava, anywhere. We're down to six minutes, so we're not gonna spend a whole lot of time in these rooms. Ooh, an enchanting table. Okay, we want that enchanting table. Uh, 
Red. Red. Now we're going to head straight east from here until we hit a dead end. Another quarry room, so hopefully this one will have lava. So we're down to four minutes, so... is a quarry type quarry room so here this room not what we're looking for and we'll continue our trek east oh another quarry room back to back quarry rooms Another lush cave. Right. If I keep jumping into cobwebs, it's gonna cause get any pressed blocks. All right, what do we got down here? We have more vault stone and more vault stone. Press box to take. Press dirt. Yay, compress dirt. No blocks. I can't. I don't have the right tool for that. Hi. minutes left in the vault a third quarry room in a row what okay fourth one the charm nope we've got dripstone we need that too Oh, dripstone, we can't make the lava, the lava farm. Okay, are you gonna give me lava? Please give me lava. Nope. This side. Another lush cave. At least we got drips though. All right, this should be the dead end room. Or not. Hmm. Good chance we're going to die in this vault. Oh, I should have gone north and south. My bad. I am truly, I am actually lost. So at this point, we're just looking for lava. We are going to die in this one. And that's okay. 
do, do. I went the wrong way. This way. Quarry room. This one's going to have lava in it. I'm not going to be able to get it. Five, four. <laughs> I I put it, placed it and put it back down. Oh, did I get one? Got one. Oh no, we got them both. Yay! All right. Fantastic. And you're happy about dying. All right, there's that, one of those. All of this can go in there. Bread, we did get the one piece of bulge, the one chest plate. We'll see if we roll a better one than what we have. Uh, yeah, it's better. So this one has one extra health. It loses an armor. Uh, better item rarity and better item quantity. So it's a good trade off for one less armor. And I now have a wolf on my shoulder. So, you know. I... All right. Iron. You. One piece short. Go. Make a cauldron. Okay. Lava farm has been created. Now it's just a matter of waiting it out. We got the jungle. We don't have the spruce yet, so we still need to get spruce saplings. Now this block here doesn't have to be point of dripstone for the for the lava farm, but I like the look of it. Here, other bucket of lava. Hey, just like that, we have our first two buckets of lava. where vein mining comes in handy a lot because we don't have enchanted uh, pickaxe yet, but this will allow us to create our vault altar. 
Uh, we will need to smelt some cobble. Ouch. Absolutely amazing. We can fly now, but not that, that not that we would, because that would be silly. No. Okay. There's that. Okay, the enchanting table is for yes. I need that. I need diamond to and stone. So let's make our altar. So this is the heart of Vault Hunter. So all of the work that I've done up to this point is to be able to put this altar down. When we complete this quest, it's going to give us a button. And you're like, a button? But then we grab that Vault Rock. That is not Vault Rock. And we put that on the vault altar and it says, hey, here's the stuff that you need to bring in. So I need two sticks, two wheat seeds, two dirt, and then three copper ingots. And I'm pretty sure I threw the copper away. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're going to have to go back in the vault, get copper. Go figure. Two sticks. Two dirt. Six dirt. Two wheat seeds. Uh, okay, that's going to be a problem, but not because. Because we have bones. So we'll make some bone meal. Hello, wheat. seeds for this. So that's done. The wheat goes in there. Okay, quest. Complete a vault crystal. We'll get a shulker box. Well, we can't complete it yet because we need copper. Three pieces of copper. So in we go into another... Don't need lava anymore. Take out a stack of blocks. Pop these trees down real quick. Make sure there's not a bee's nest, of course.
Oh, we can pop this other mystery egg. Let's see what we get. Get out of there. All right, mystery eggs. What you got for me? Mushroom, cod, another sheep. Not sure what that is. Another mushroom, cow. Panda. Got a panda spawn egg. Oh, goat. Oh, no, it wasn't mushroom, it was chicken. Okay. We do need to get some vault stone at some point. All right, let's go in and see if we can get copper pretty quickly. Better enchanting. Vault enchanter is chromatic iron blocks. Well, we can actually do this. We have all this stuff. Hold on. The enchanter that I took out of the vault. Oh, we don't. We won't get credit for this yet, but we'll be able to uh, use this. So the Vault Enchanter is a Vault Hunter specific block that gives you max enchanting for the uh, tool in question, as long as you have uh, XP. Uh, I died, so of course I don't have very much XP, but I have enough XP on this to put fortune on it. I should say I have enough XP to be able to put fortune on my uh, pickaxe. So if we get any ores or whatever, at least then we'll get... Wow, that was big thunder. Sorry, my house just shook. That thunder was so strong. Uh, it was a little startling, actually. Uh, okay. Let's go see if we can get some copper. In we go. This may be our last vault, though. But. Uh, boom, 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 boom. This is an east vault. Oddly enough, I don't think we've had any north south yet, which is kind of uh, unusual. We are looking for an ore room, ideally, or an ore POI. There's another Enigma chest. Good idea to grab those XP bottles. Hold on, I, I need some saplings. Uh, 
All right, so this Enigma chest gave a Skulk Sensor, three Villagers, another Raid Ingot, a stack of Emeralds, and a Trident. So that's also, it's not nearly as nice as the, the first one we got, but. <laughs> villagers are nice. And the Trident is helpful as well, because if that shows up on the altar down the road, Trying to farm it in a sky vault is unpleasant. E bottle. Two chests, apparently. All right, what do we got down here? Flesh chest. Of course, you won't give me a. Another shulker. Why would you do that? So we are heading south. Watch me forget again. All right, so we have a quarry room. Go look and see what we have. Lush cave. Hey, I swear, if I didn't, we don't need the lush cave, but that's all we're getting, which I think is hysterical, but. Vault stone and amethyst. Hey, Luna girl, what's going on? My dog has entered the room, probably because of that big, the big shaking of the house from the thunder and lightning. Baby zombie somewhere. <laughs> Baby zombie. How's it going? needs sprue. Could also punch trees. There's another spruce. I think we need one more.
Flush chest. No. Give me a shulker shell. That's what we got. I think we got what we need for jungle. So this would have been a POI that would have given us lava. But obviously not an issue right now. Although we will take a free anvil. Even if it's damaged, it's better than no anvil. So this farm room, again, uh, you don't know what's going to spawn. So in this case, we got prismarine, turtle eggs, which we can't harvest because we don't have silk touch. Um, we'll, grab the, we'll grab some prismarine just to have. This building here um, has a chance to spawn a villager, but in this case, in this case, it spawned a villager and a zombie villager. Uh, our other two tall flower there. Oh, we got wheat. We're, we're going to be living on bread for a while, so it's worth picking up this wheat. Or the hay bales, sorry. And carrots. Nice. Carrots are good. I think we're going to need anything from down below, but let's take a peek. Red sand again. We need sand. Uh, we might need a... God only knows how much copper I've walked past. How did we get there? 26. Okay, that's good. Throw all this in the old backpack. 
All right, so we go west one and then we go north. Except I'm going to go, this is a diamond shaped vault, so we are gonna go one more south just to see what's in this room. We have got what we came for. Okay, it's another uh, quarry room. So now we get more lava. Uh, for more copper. More. <clears throat> we got lush another lush cave which is so funny because when i was playing my last solo world hi seagull you got another library that's nice compressed block of diorite definitely worth getting uh Good way to get lots of jewels for the library. So what Eagle's talking about is a uh, a vault called the Divine Paradox. Those that have watched my other playthrough may have seen it. It's hard to say. Uh, it was Divine Paradox. You essentially build the vault. Watch out for the lava. Actually, let's go ahead and... Whoops. It's not burned to death. You're not letting me place block. Gonna go ahead and pick up some obsidian and some of the uh, uh, magma block. Unenchanted pickaxe, mining obsidian takes forever. This is why vein mining was my first skill point. Yeah, we got enough. That is enough. head straight north this time hopefully we'll actually get to where I said we're gonna go uh, okay there is a flesh chest down there so let's go see if that's got a shulker shell in it nope 
Oh, got all these flesh chests. Certainly got the room. Certainly, there's got to be one. There it is. Ow. Mystery egg. Bottle. There's the spruce sapling I think we, we need. Chest scroll. Got the shulker shell, so that'll give us two shulkers. We got the pouch out of the enigma chest. So north we go. And it's another farming room. This one's gonna give us an and a full uh unrepaired and or undamaged anvil. And another cauldron. Pumpkins. Okay, they can spawn nothing. In this case, it spawned nothing in that corner. And a little ore mining cart thing over in this corner. All right, heading north. We don't need to go back under. We have what we need as far as copper is concerned. Now we're just looking for any chests of interest. Flesh chest down there. And the off chance we see an enigma chest. This is actually would have been another opportunity to get lava there. This is not worth getting into a fight right now. So we're just gonna skip that. Another flesh chest up there. Oh, we're next to the vault. So this this puts us right next to the vault portal. So we're gonna go ahead and go east one room. Did I say I have enough spruce? Yes, we're good on spruce. All right, so we're gonna go go home. We need to go north one, and then west. A look and see in here. Okay, amethyst. Another amethyst. Okay. And then... I swear to you, when I, uh, Needed clay. I need to go north. When I needed clay in my other Skyblock world, which I started on update 11, I looked forever for a resource room that had clay. Sunflowers. Oh, we got sugar cane. All right. To get home, we go west from here. More wheat. It's not a bad thing. We're gonna be eating bread. Carrots we have. Sugar cane. There will also be kelp here. Go 
this takes this will take us back to the starting room. And we're gonna head out. Take our spoils of war, F as you, if you will. Soon we're gonna want to come in here with a diamond shovel and just like do nothing but collect um, uh, do nothing but collect uh, dirt and stone and what have you, but. I survived an architect vault. What? Oh, it is a beginner grace architect vault. Ah, oh, who knew? Uh, okay. We need to... Freeze, please. Eight. Make some more chests. Okay, unload that. Unload all of this. Okay, we need to smelt the copper. Where did I put all of, there's that. Where did I put the shulker shell? Shulker shell. Make a shulker. When we get some more vault materials, we'll be able to build, make another pouch. That would be nice. We have a shulker now. Make some more bread. We have food. Cobble. No point in really putting anything more on the pickaxe because we're going to replace it very, very, very soon. Oh, wait, we need to put the copper in before we can complete this. Okay, one. All right, so this should complete a quest for us. Yay! Complete the vault crystal. That gives us another shulker. Now we have two shulkers. So our next quest is to acquire a vault enchanter. Boom, done. We already made it. So that will give us some XP bottles and some uh, emeralds. The next quest is to make a health potion. It's a vial. There are different types of uh, health potions. I tend to stick with the pacifist vial, which essentially every five minutes it recharges a charge. But you have the slaughterer vial, which after so many mobs it will recharge. Uh, I am considering switching to slaughterer's vial. I do a lot of killing. Or the goblin's vial, which is uh, as you loot chests, uh, you get um, different. But right for now, for us, realistically, we need to get a poppy. Which I don't know how we're going to get because we don't have grass. What we should do is make a shovel and put silk touch on it. 
That's what we should do. Alright. Shovel. Still touch. Okay, that'll take care of that. We'll be able to get grass. Don't think you can bone meal dirt. I don't think it does. Anything. Yeah, no, it doesn't do anything. All right, so we need a poppy. Should bring. We should also bring out some, and we may have some. Did we bring out any vault stone? No. Let's see, two hours and 20 minutes. Do I run our first actual vault? Or do we call it here? It's 10 o'clock. So I've got time. What do you think? Do we run a vault or do we call it here and do it another day? I know anybody if we raid if we decide to call it. Quiet Momo is playing a game called Little Dungeon. I've never even heard of. Uh, I have no idea what that game is. Hmm. All right, here's what I think we're going to do. We are going to go ahead and run our first actual real vault. We've been doing nothing but resource vault so far. Uh, if we have an opportunity, we will uh, try to pick up... Um, uh, ...some grass so that we can get the poppy quest done. Uh, we do need to heal up, though. That's empty. Okay. Actual real vault. With actual real vault looting. And it's a winter theme. Of course it is. Uh, okay. Guess we'll get some snow. I don't have silk touch on my pickaxe, so I can't do... Oh, I guess I can break ice with my... What did you do? I ran around and broke ice with my shovel. Even though you don't think of this as like, hey, I want to get um, this is a normal vault, not a resource vault, but it's realistically you've got to always, especially in sky vaults, especially early, you need to really think about, okay, what uh, what resources do I have available to me? So snow is huge. Um, ice is another one that's, you know, one you don't, you don't really have a lot of in Sky World because you have to travel out to a cold biome and try to create an ice farm, which, I mean, frankly, is not fun. That's enough ice, though. All right. Uh, two stacks is fine. 
All right. So this is a south facing vault. More resources you don't think about. Uh, berries. Oh, it's an elixir vault. I forgot. All starter vaults are now elixir. That's to regen for 60 seconds. Okay, there is a turn in in the first room. Oh, why am I doing that? I don't have a magnet. There is a polar bear that has spawned, though. Polar bears are frustrating. Oh, Mr. Polar Bear. We have our first coins that didn't come from a champion or a quest. Okay, there should be mobs in this boy then. So the chests now are wooden chests, uh, gilded chests, ornate chests, and so on and so on. Where before in the raw vault we were getting the hardened chests, and then the um, flesh chests, and then the uh, enigma chests. So the goal in an elixir vault is to kill mobs, loot chests, basically do, did I do this one? I did. Yeah. This is the problem with not being able to break chests and stuff, you forget. Uh, okay, so mobs to my left. Oh, points, oh this belt is all about points. or a helmet. Either a focus or a helmet. Either way, it's better than what we have. It's a helmet. Better than what we have because we don't have one. And we got a squire helmet. A 
ability power. Put everything away. Gilded chest, wooden chest. Can't remember. Is there one up top there? Couple actually. All right, so we spawned that dude up. He's too far away to do anything to us. Okay, so this was a south facing vault, so we will be heading west. Do things the vault in, in the vault and you win. <laughs> True. Alright, generally speaking, I try to go up first. Then I as long as I do that, I'm as long as I stay consistent with uh, going up first, then I don't get confused later. But another lodestone. Done with up, so now we go down. More coins. I think I have a skill point. Uh, I do. Let's get that. Ah, oh, ornates, finally. Nope. Nope. 
gear in either one of those. How about you? Okay, axe. that in there. Okay, let's see. I'm sure this axe is going to be better than my sword. Uh, 11.5 attack damage, extra damage to dwellers, and chilling cloud. So to give you an idea, our sword does 7 damage without the extras. So yeah, that's better. I hate axes though, won't lie, but that's okay. 13 minutes left, continue heading to the west. But more damage is uh, super important, so. all my mana. Great. More coins! This is a coin and is this an all-around POI? This is an all-around POI. A little of everything. Oh no, I guess it's wooden coin and ore. Oh, there's coins. Let's see, what do we get for... Oh, that's one way to get water, I guess.
do need to be careful. Continue to the west. Slowly heal. Frequently as we can. Oh, you know what? I should I should put this in group heal. There we go. That's better. Gilded. Good, we've got a polar bear somewhere. More coins. You know what? Nah. I don't want to deal with it. Sometimes it's called forget it, we're just going with easy route. I forgot to mark it, but I knew I was going west. Mark it now. Haven't seen a single living chest yet. That's a disappointment. What is up? Lodestone. Regen while we're full health, so there's no point in clicking on that. Or POI. Nates. Pause and load. So 
hell is garbage? Up there. Uh, pants. I don't have pants. Pay for pants. Rare pants. Banner reader. Nice. Those are good pants. The other guy go. Three minutes left. We have finished the vault. So we know there's a lodestone in this room. It looks like there's a lodestone in almost every room. So we're going to go ahead and go one to the north. Technically, if we have to run out of here, we go east. However, to complete this vault, we just need to consume a lodestone. Living. Perfect. We finally found some living chests. Two absorption hearts, I'll take that. Alright, we got our first living chest. Dump a bunch of stuff in there as we can. There's our lodestone. The first time I was playing Vault Hunters and a polar bear spawned, I about had a heart attack. It was very startling. We have one minute left, so we're probably just going to head out. Especially since we have to go up to get the clothes. And boom. We have completed our first actual vault. I'm going to guess we're going to get three levels. Twenty-eight thousand XP. We did one hundred and ten coin piles, four ores, eighty-one chests. That's not bad for, and we got five levels. as well as our first expertise point, which we're going to put in fortunate. I'm not even going to think about it. And our first completion crate. Fortunately, we didn't get the poppy that I was hoping we were going to get. Because the uh, vault was a snow snow theme, pretty much all of this stuff goes in there. That, 
that. All of this stuff. Ice and the snow can go in there. All of this. Go in there, we'll put the sword in there. Where's the vault? The vault runs out of there and out of there. Okay, vault runs to where it all the silver. We're gonna have a storage nightmare. We already have a storage nightmare. Doesn't take very long to end up in storage nightmare land. Cobblestone, we should melt that. That's empty, that's empty, that's empty. Great. Got a wand, a helmet, and a sword, and a shield. The roll. 13 vault gold. Some jewels. Kiwis. Kiwi, all the kiwis go there. Got two vault shields actually. Okay. Download all of that. Oh, we got the augment too. Theme winter. Okay. 6% block chance, 2 health shield, that's not, that's not bad. 8 thorns damage shield. Mm. We're actually going to go with the 8 thorns damage shield. Not going to use wands right now. 8.5 attack damage is better than the axe. And it comes with healing cloud. And then uh, one extra armor, two health. Yeah, we lose a little bit of knockback resist, a little bit of area effect that doesn't affect us in item rarity, but item rarity isn't really an issue right now. So we're going to go ahead and switch to that. Um, do. Cobbles. Are we out of cobble? Pressed cobble. Uh, 
some sheep, two pigs, and another cod. Getting all the cods. That is not what I got. All right. We want to enchant the pickerang. So the pickerang gets efficiency five. Mending, unbreaking three, and we'll go with silk touch. Can't believe we got a pickering out of one of our bolts. That's amazing. All right. Uh, villager, other villagers. Take the soul shards out of there. Those soul shards. Armor. No. Soul shards can go there. We'll save the filker shells for the next pouch we make. So we are stuck on the quest until we get a poppy, and we can't get a poppy till we get a piece of grass. So that should come out of a raw vault at some point. Uh, could make a bounty table. That's going to be for a future quest. But two plank pieces of string. There's the bounty table. Submit five netherite ingots and get two netherite ingots and a chest plate back. Find six Vault Essence, mine six Laramar. Uh... Yeah, we only have two netherite ingots. Um, how many Vault Sweets do we have? Seven. I can't remember. Okay, it's on par with bread. Switch to Vault Sweets as our food. Got all the tree types. We've got the compressed dirt, so that will be gonna go dirt. Can we grab an ancient debris from somewhere? Non damage. So our next quests that are coming up after we do this is going to be go into a vault, then it's going to be make a shard pouch, then make the bounty table, which we just did. Complete a bounty, then make, make a better tool. That's the tool station quest. Um, tool station we can actually do now, and then what we would get a better uh, pickaxe. Um, 
And we still also need to, uh, at some point, go down to Y negative 63 and build a platform from passive mobs. The only one we're not gonna get from this biome is a um, rabbit. However, we have been streaming for three hours, so I am going to go ahead and call it here. Uh, I do not know anybody who is streaming. Okay, I don't know anybody streaming, so we're just going to go ahead and call it here. Uh, thank you very much for hanging out. I hope you guys enjoyed Sky Vaulting. It was cool. Thank you, Eagle, for the Twitch uh, subscription via Prime. I really appreciate that. Uh, still very confused why the audio didn't play properly, but I will look into that. Um, yeah, that did, it's not playing. All right, I will look into that. I will make a note right now that that you see that something probably going on with dream elements. Uh, otherwise, thank you very much for hanging out with me tonight. Uh, we will probably be back to Sky Vaults. I, I really enjoy uh, Sky Vaults. It's a it's a nice 